We're going to have a look at the System Information Viewer. This app has lots of features in it. Uh, as you can see, you've got all the fan names over here. Uh, the workload and RPM values according to this fan we selected at the moment. So we're looking at the CPU fan, which is going around at around 800 RPM at the moment. Uh, the workload is about 50% or thereabouts. So if we look on the scale here, it should be around 900 or so, which is quite close to this. One of the things you can do with the System Information Viewer Spark 5 Advanced is change the assignments to your fans in terms of the heat sensor. Uh, the CP1 is fixed, so you can't do anything with that. But if you select one of the others, for example, let's go for the pump, in my case. Um, the pump is assigned to the CPU heat fan uh, system as well. So if we click on that, we can assign it to, for example, the VRM MOS sensor or the PCI Express bus or one of the others. So you do that by clicking on that or, or whichever one you want to choose. But in this case, I want to keep it assigned to the CPU. Okay, so in that case, um, We should go back to the other screen and see what's going on. So the pump at the moment is at 38 degrees and the workload is 44%. So as you can see, it's close to the RPM value for that device. Now you can do that with all the other fans you have installed apart from the CPU. Uh, a couple of things you can also do within this screen is enable the auto stop function. This will stop a fan um, from working when it goes below its uh, limit. So, you know, it's saving you power basically. And the other thing you can do is calibrate the temperature interval. If you don't want it to keep changing every now and then, you set a value in there, the default is plus or minus three. Okay, so as you can see, that is uh, fairly easy to do. Also in here, you can um, change the curve of uh, the RPM against the workload, so you can do whatever you like in here. And when you do this, you need to hit the apply button once you do apply, you will see the screen and you can either apply it to the fan or you can apply it to all the devices. So um, we're going to do that in this case. 